ahead and start decorating the inside of our book. And to cover up this peak, this part in here, what we're going to do is you're going to need one piece that is four and a quarter by nine and one eighth. And you actually should have this piece in your stash, okay, in your in your um, scrap pile, okay. Um, and that's from cutting our pages and doing our um, cutting our our paper down for our covering our book alrighty so this is what we're gonna do here and you're gonna place tape on the back side just around the outside edges of that tape no tape in the middle okay so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab my glue alrighty and I am gonna go ahead and Place glue right on top of that spine here. Okay, just right in through here. All right, I'm just going to place a little bit of glue right there. Okay, and we're going to go ahead, and if you want to, you can place a little bit of glue around the tape here. Okay, so just placing a little bit of glue there. Alrighty, and we're going to put that right in the middle part. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stand up and make sure that I'm even. And make sure that this is even on both sides there. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and press down. Alrighty. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to burnish this in. Okay. So we're going to burnish down in the middle part. Alright. And then you're going to burnish down right in through here. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my bone folder, okay, and like we did when we covered our book, you're going to go ahead and push in or, you know, make sure that you burnish in down in between your gusset right there, okay, you're right there just like that, okay, and same thing here, okay, it's just going to make sure that you're burnishing all of that in. Alrighty. And make sure that you burnish your sides down again. You're going to go ahead and lift this up. Okay, just like that. And same thing here. Go ahead and lift that up. So now you've got your middle part covered here. Okay. I'm going to actually use our paper to cover these two areas here on the inside of our album. Okay, so now we have this piece done. Alrighty. Okay, guys, so we are back and we are going to be starting to cover the inside of our book. And we're going to put down our spine or our hinge onto our spine <laughs> and go ahead and insert our pages into our book. So. I went ahead and placed tape around uh, the back side of my um, paper here and I decided to use this lined paper for the back of my book and then for the left hand or for the left hand side of my book um, I'm using the one with the cart so that is going to go right here just like that so I went ahead and inked all of my papers and everything already so we're going to go ahead and put these in here. So um, I did cut my mats at seven and three quarters by nine and an eighth. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, 
Okay, so now we're going to do the other side. Before we do, okay, so now we're going to do the other side. And so now um, what I want to do before I lay that down is I want to go ahead and I want to make this like a little pocket right here behind this cart. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my X-Acto knife, okay? And I'm going to turn the cart sideways. And where the line is on top of the cart and the little sign and this part, that's where you're going to just kind of trace around it with your X-Acto knife, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you all can see a little bit better. Okay, and... Alrighty. I'm just going to do, just trace around that. So now it will, it should pop out. So, or pop in, just go ahead and pop that in and then pop it out this way. And now you've got like a little pocket right there. So you can stick some little tags inside of there. Okay, the tags should be about a couple of inches. They will be about four, maybe yeah, about four inches. So, um, and you can make them as tall as you'd like. So now that we're done with this part, you can go ahead and you can place glue up and through here, okay? And if you want to, you can place glue here, but do not place glue on this bottom part where we cut the cart, okay? Because this is where your, your tags are going to fit into, okay, into that slot. So just go ahead and place glue up and through here. And you can go ahead and you can grab this little guy here. Okay, you should just pop open. There we go. Just like that. And you can go ahead and grab your bone folder and just kind of round that out a little bit. Okay. So that way your tags can stick inside of there. Okay. go all right and then um, you'll just grab some of your little tags here okay so I have a little one right here and I can just go ahead and stick that in there and I don't know if this one fits. this one I need to cut down just a bit just like that okay so now you've got some little tags right there inside of your little cart and then here and you can decorate these however you would like okay um, okay so now we're going to move on to our hinge and for the hinge you i've already done two of the inside of the the pieces for the hinge where i've placed my tape um, along the inside uh, of that little hinge right there. So what you're going to use is your quarter inch tape or you can use your glue if you'd like. Um, but you're going to put your tape on the front side of that hinge. Okay, that little flap. Okay, and you're going to put it on the back side of that hinge. Okay, so you're going to place that tape right up on the edge of the folded part of your hinge okay so you're going to grab your tape and you're going to place it on the end here 
Make sure your tape is at the folded part of your hinge and you're just going to run that tape right down. Okay, right on top of that folded part. Okay, just like that. Okay, and that's how you're going to do your hinge. That's how you're going to get your tape on top of your hinge. So your pages will stick to that. Okay, once you get that on there, I want you to go ahead and burnish that down. Okay, and then you're going to flip it over and you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to go ahead and grab your tape. Place your tape on that end and that folded part of your hinge. Okay, so it's like that. All right, so there is, sorry about the glue on my fingers. <laughs> so your tape is on that folded part of your hinge right up here. Okay, right there, right on top of that. Okay, so you don't want your tape to be folded over on top of the hinge, but you want it up on the edge of that folded part, okay? And you're just gonna go ahead and run your finger and place that on there, and then go ahead and cut that off, okay? And then again, you're gonna go ahead and just burnish that down, just like that. Alrighty, okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish up. So I'm gonna do my other one. Just like that. Okay, all right, so now you're done. Um, the one thing that I want to tell you is once you get your hinge inside of your book, okay, once we put it in here, you can go ahead and you can put your um, pages on here. You can cover the gussets, okay? And a good way to cover your gussets is you can use a lot of the strips that we had left over from cutting down our papers and such, okay? And you can just cut them down to fit right on top of those gussets. The other thing you can do to cover your gussets is use the bottom pieces of the paper where it has the um, home again name and then the name of the paper company. That has the, um, some of them leave the, the printed piece of that paper on there and you can definitely just go ahead and cut those down and put those use those as well so that's two different and you can also use them for your um, waterfall okay because you have gussets in your waterfall as well or anywhere you have a gusset showing okay so um, now we're going to go ahead and we are going to place this hinge inside of our book and before I do that I want to go ahead and erase I'm going to go ahead and erase this part okay. All right. okay so now I'm going to go ahead and take my paper off of here and I'm going to add glue and like I said the glue just helps me it just helps a like uh, be able to give you a little bit more time to maneuver your pieces down so they don't stick right away. It gives you that little bit of extra time to just, just kind of set them in place. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and stand up and I'm going to place this right in the middle. Okay, and I usually start at the bottom, and you're going to place it right on that seam that we have there. 
Okay. And you want to be sure that you have it straight. Okay. And even lift up your book. Okay. So that way you can see that it's not going to be on the folded part of your book. Okay. When you fold it in. All right. Yep. <laughs> That's my husband. It's time for dinner. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to burnish this down. Okay. I'm just going to burnish that down. And if you have excess glue coming out, don't worry about it. You can just definitely um, clean that up. All right. So here is this. Okay, got this. All right. Okay, so there is that. Okay. Okay, so there is our hinge. So I am going to go eat some dinner and then I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so we are going to start on our pages, and page one, you're going to need two pieces that are four and a quarter by nine and a quarter, and you're going to score a half inch on the left-hand side, and then once you do that, you'll turn one over, so that way we can fit these as double doors, okay, right here. We're key, we can go ahead and um, put these down now. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to do this with you real quick. So those are our double doors, okay? And then we are going to put a closure here. So we're going to go ahead and add um, a magnet. Uh, we can add our magnet on here now. Um, however, okay, so you have it, these two magnets. We're going to go ahead and we're going to lay one of them down here, okay? And one is just going to be placed right um, underneath this left hand side flap right here okay this one right here that i i'm leaving the backing on that one because we're not going to adhere that yet okay so we are going to wait to adhere that all right so we're going to go ahead and flip this over okay and now we're going to go ahead and paper the back of this one now the back okay so for the back of page one you're you should already have a piece of this in your stash from the papers that we've cut and I apologize for the noise my daughter is moving furniture <laughs> so um, you should have a piece that is eight and three quarters by three and a quarter and you will score a half inch on the right and left hand side of the eight and three quarters you will turn it and then score a half inch down the three and a quarter inch side okay so for this one we can go ahead and we can place in here as well so here we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this and i'm looking for my other scissors and i don't know where they are right now so you're just going to go ahead and cut right at that x part okay going to go ahead and cut right here just like that all right and then we can go ahead and we can place this down to cover this um, after you've cut all of your design paper you should have some pieces in your pile 
that are like this and these will fit in that area perfectly okay so just wanted to let you know and these pieces measure uh, two and three quarters by uh, seven and seven and uh, seven and a half so um, is what they should measure I think yeah or seven and five eighths I apologize seven and five eighths by two and three quarters okay so that's that will fit right in there just like that okay so you should have several of those pieces in and I'll show you real quick because I've already cut most of my mats and everything so um, for all of my pieces so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to burnish down these little half inch wings that we've done okay and I'm just going to go ahead just like that And then we're going to go ahead and put some glue on here. Alrighty. And again, now my neighbors are <laughs> getting ready to, to do some lawn work outside. So if you guys hear some sawing sounds, that's what they are doing. So, um... Alrighty, so I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to stick this little guy right down here, okay? And again, these are just pieces that you've had, that you have in your stash, okay? So you should have these in your stash already and we're just using up some of those pieces. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead, make sure that the inside is burnished down really good. All right, just like that. Okay, so there is page one. So we're done with page one. All right, and now we've got page two. So for page two, the front part, you're going to need one piece that is four and three eighths by eight and a half, eight and a quarter, sorry, <laughs> eight and a quarter. And then you're going to need one piece that is four and seven eighths by nine and a quarter. You're going to score a half inch on the right hand side or, you know, you could turn it score a half inch down the left hand side okay and that is going to be at the four and seven eighths uh, inch across your scoreboard you're going to turn it to the nine and a quarter inch side and then you're going to score a half inch on the left hand side and on the right hand side okay again you're going to cut where the X's are so you're just going to grab your scissors and you are going to cut right there at that X. Okay, and I probably need to cut a little bit more on that. Okay, so you're going to cut that. Again, we're going to go ahead and we are going to make a pocket. So you're going to go ahead and burnish these backwards. Okay, or fold them backwards and burnish them down, I mean. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm going to move that. Okay, so just like this. And we can go ahead and we are going to be able to stick this on as well. So, alrighty. And this is going to be on here like this. Now, with this pocket, okay, um, this is actually going to swing. So we do, we did make a, um, a hinge for this one. Again, I did a hinge making scraps from our scrap pile. Okay. Because I like to use a lot of our, our pieces that we've already cut out 
to make hinges or to make our pockets. So um, I, I try not to use a whole new piece for what, what we're doing. Okay. <music> For this, you are going. We are going to have the hinge here. Okay, so, so you're going to grab your hinge and you're going to place that here. Now your hinge is going to measure eight and a quarter by one inch, or one inch by eight and a quarter, right? And you're going to score that right down the middle at a half inch. So okay, it looks like this. So now we're going to go ahead and on the folded edge here. Okay, on this folded edge you're going to place your glue right on that edge okay or your tape whatever you would like all right that glue on there. you're going to grab your hinge and you're going to place the folded and up towards the sky or up towards you okay and you're going to glue that down <laughs> Have a little bit of excess on showing you know um, on the ends here just cut that off all right it's not a problem okay so for the front of page two you're going to go ahead and you're just going to place this down right here like this okay it's going to be kind of like in the middle part so you can go ahead and add your glue or your tape and you're just going to go ahead and place that on there just like that and you can place this down now remember your opening is going to be to your left all right okay so for this one we're going to need a magnet as well and we're going to go ahead i'm going to go ahead and grab two magnets again Okay, I go ahead and I put them together and I'm going to go ahead and take the backing off of the negative. I'm going to put that right like in the middle. Okay, so now it's stuck there and this one we can go ahead and stick down as well or actually we can go ahead and close that, stick that down. Okay, and leave the backing on that one. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and turn this over and we're on the back of page two. Okay, so now we are on the back of page two. And on the back of page two, uh, page two and the front of page three are going to mirror each other. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a pe two pieces that are seven and five eighths by 12. You are going to go ahead and score um, on the seven and five eighths side, you're gonna score a half inch, okay? And then you're gonna turn it, okay? And then you're going to go ahead and score on the right and the left hand side a half inch of with the 12 inch laying across the scoreboard. And then you're gonna score down in the middle at six, okay? And this pocket is going to um, fold up like this, okay? So that's how that's gonna fold, all right? And we're just gonna go ahead and burnish this down. Okay, this score line right here is going to go to the back, just like this. All right, this one is going to go ahead and fold over away from you. So it's going to be on the inside. And then this one's going to fold over. Okay, just like this. Alrighty. Just like that. Okay, where your X's are, you can go ahead and trim those off. All right, actually, yeah, so you're going to go ahead and Trim these off just like this. Okay. Like that. All right, where this piece, where this line is right here on that 
a half inch flap, you're going to go ahead and trim that off. All right, because this is going to be a pocket, these are going to be folded in like this and fold over on top of the back part. Okay, so it's going to look like this. We're going to trim off this piece right here, okay, because we don't need that piece. So you're just going to go ahead and grab your scissors. I'm going to fold mine back. And you're just going to go ahead and cut right down that line. Or you can use your trimmer if you want to. Okay, so just like that. Okay, and so there is your pocket. So now you can go ahead and we can glue this down here. So I'm just going to put my glue there. Make sure you get your corners really good and the end of your little flappy, of your little flap. <laughs> okay, and there we go. So we're just going to fold that over right on top of there. Okay, so now your opening is going to be to your left hand side. Okay, and this flap right here is going to be um, adhered down to the page. Okay, so you, on the back here, even though you have this opening here, which is going to go on your hinge, this is going to be set like this. Now, um, okay, so you may um, need, so you may, you can go ahead and trim off a little bit of this just so your um, mat can, can fit inside on the edge here if you would like. So you can definitely um, do okay. that. So what I want you to do next is I want you to go ahead and even though um, we cut this at seven and five eighths, I'm going to trim this down. So you're going to actually cut a piece that is, um, you're going to cut it down to seven okay so we're going to go ahead and cut this down to seven inches real quick so once you cut this down to seven inches then we can go ahead and we can put this down so you just i'm going to leave a little border right here on the side here so i'm just going to go ahead and place that right there just like that I might scoot this over just a bit So, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and scoot this over just a bit. Okay, so there you go. So now your flap is going to be on this side right here, okay? Um, and your mat will slide in there, okay, just like that. So there is page two, and we will go ahead and we will be putting on the magnet here. Um, and the magnet... We will go ahead and place that on um, in just a minute. You're going to need a magnet. So you're going to grab a magnet. So you grab a positive and a negative. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and lay down the negative. Okay, and that's going to be laid. I'm just going to lay it right there. Okay, and then the positive um, you can lay on top of there, just like that. Okay, and we're going to leave that on there. Um, we're going to just leave that on there. Okay, and so there is your <laughs> there is your page number two. Okay, so page two is all done. So now we're moving on to page number three. All right, so for page three we are going to do the same thing for the front okay so again you're gonna cut out another piece okay if you haven't already page two and page three uh, mirror each other so you'll need a piece that is seven and five eighths by twelve okay you will put this in your scoreboard and you will score a half inch on the left hand side of the seven and five eighths inch okay you'll turn it and to the 12 inch side and you'll score on the right and left hand side and at the six inch okay so you'll score there on the 12 laying across your scoreboard 
okay and then you'll fold this up you are going to go ahead and you're going to cut where the X's are see the X's so you're just going to go ahead and cut right there alrighty this back piece you're going to fold over okay and you're going to burnish that down this right here we're going to cut off and then these two up here we're going to go ahead and we're going to fold them backwards and these we're going to adhere to this top piece right here I'm just going to go ahead and leave a little bit of a border on that and I'm going to glue that to the top of that and I'm making sure that my um, opening is right here okay There we go. Open that up. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so there is that. And now we can go ahead and we can place our um, magnet on here. So I'll just grab our magnets. Okay. And I'm just taking off one of the magnet from the um, one of the backing from the magnet. We're going to stick it right here. So be right there just like that okay and put the other one right there okay and then I'm gonna put my mat inside of there and there we go so I just have to go ahead and cover this okay and cut this down and then I'm good to go so Okay, so for the back of page three, we're going to do a waterfall, and you're going to need six pieces that are four and three quarters by six and a quarter, okay? Once you score a half inch on the left-hand side, okay, you will go ahead and you will have a piece that is four and a quarter by six and a quarter, all right, which are perfect for our four by six pictures. So... You will need six of those, all right? And again, you're going to score a half inch um, on the four and three quarters inch laying across the top of your scoreboard, all right? Then you're going to need a piece that is one and three quarters by eight and a quarter. And you'll just need one of these. And this is going to be our little arm, okay? So it's going to rest like this and flip back like this, okay? So, um, there is that. These should be, this piece right here should be in your stash. All right. I did not cut an extra piece out from um, a 12 by 12 paper. So, a lot of these should be in your stash. Okay. So, we're going to come back to this once I paper you, uh, once I paper everything with our design paper. Uh, so we're going to come back to this once I put the mats, the design paper, on all of our pages and everything. Um, you can also go ahead and cover these 
with all of your design paper as well. And then we will come back and put it all together, okay? So I'm gonna put this off to the side. All right, that's page the back of page three. Okay, guys, so now we're on to the front of page four, okay? And the front of page four, you're gonna need to use one sheet of 12 by 12 paper, and you're going to cut that in half at six, okay? You are going to go ahead and take both of those pieces that are at six, you're going to have them laying across your scoreboard at the 12 inch side. You're going to score them down at six inches, okay? So both of these will be at six inches, all right? You're going to make two little hinges for these, okay? And um, these should be in your scrap pile. There should be a bunch of really thin or semi-thin pieces that look like this in your scrap pile, right? So you're going to make one that is one inch and you're going to go ahead and cut them down to match the back of your little sheet here, okay, that we've just scored. All right, now mine are a little bit long, so I need to cut them down. But you're going to place these hinges right on the back of these little booklets, okay? So let's go ahead and do that now, all right? Again, with these one inch strips, you're going to go ahead and score them down the middle, all right? And we're gonna go ahead and place glue right on the back of these hinges, okay? You're gonna have the folded edge on your right hand side, okay? And you're going to grab one of your little booklets and where the fold is, you're going to butt that fold up right against the other fold. All right? Just like that. Now, if your hinge is a little bit long, don't worry about it. You can just snip off the excess. Okay? So, there is that. Okay. And again, you can just snip off that excess. All right, just like that. Okay, there we go. So just like that. And there is one little booklet. And then this one, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna grab that one inch strip that you just made and it's a hinge. You're just gonna go ahead and on the other piece where the fold is, okay, so here's my fold, all right, I'm gonna grab this piece where the fold is, and I'm gonna butt that fold right up against that other fold, just like that, okay? And you're going to go ahead and you're going to cut off that hinge, okay, if you have excess on that hinge. Alrighty. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lay these on here. So, you are going to need a magnet for this piece, okay? And so, for this one here, you're going to go ahead and you're going to lay, what doesn't matter which one, the one that we just put the hinge on, okay? You're gonna put glue on that hinge and you're going to center it right on the top of page, the front of page four, okay? So you're just gonna center that, just like that, and right up at the edge of page four, okay? Just like that, open that up. Just like that, okay? Same thing with this one here. You're going to place this one at the bottom, okay? And this one is going to go right here at the bottom. What I want you to do is I want you to lay down the top flap and then when you put your bottom flap on, okay? This will ensure that you have it lined up correctly with the bottom, with the top flap, 
I thought this would be fun because um, these pages can um, be interlinked. So the bottom page can be down first, and then this one, then this one, and then that one. So I thought that was that would be pretty fun. So um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to stick a, a um, magnet in here. Alrighty. So I'm just going to grab a magnet, okay, and. I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and place this right in the middle part of this. Okay. You're going to take that top one off. All right. And then you can go ahead and you can sort out however you would like these. And then that one's going to sit right on the top part of that little photo mat there. Okay. And that's the front of page four. So there is that. So that is done. Now the back of page four, we just have double some double pockets that we're going to do. And um, I'm going to lay them sideways. So uh, you are going to need one piece that is three and a quarter by ten. Okay. And on this, you're going to go ahead and you'll lay your paper on the three and a quarter inch side, you're going to go ahead and score down a half inch, okay, on the left hand side. You're going to turn it to the 10 inch side and you're just going to score a half inch on the left hand side and the right hand side, okay. Same thing with this piece. This piece is going to be a little smaller because this is going to slide into this 10 inch pocket, okay? So this piece is going to be at three and three quarters by nine and seven eighths. And you're going to go ahead and lay this at the nine and seven eighths inch side. You're gonna score on the left and the right hand side a half inch. You're going to turn it to the three and three quarter inch side and score down a half inch. Okay, and here is where you're going to go ahead again and where those you have your little X, you're going to go ahead and just cut that. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so this 10 inch piece all right, it's going to go ahead and get folded over. And you're just going to go ahead and you're going to burnish down those little half inch wings that we just did. Okay, so these are going to be inside of each other like this. Okay. And First, I'm going to lay down my mat on here, and then I'm going to put these on top of the mat. These will slide in with each other like this, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and lay down my mat for page four, so we can go ahead and finish page four. And I'm going to go ahead and paper page th the back of page three, and I will be right back so we can finish up the waterfall. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. Up next is part three to finish up our album. Don't forget to hop on over to JS Hobbies and Crafts and visit my playlist and subscribe.